Hello, this is Christina coming to you from sunny California and my kitchen corner. And today I would like to share with you that I am taking part in a collaboration that is being hosted by Adrian from Crafty Mom. This is a four part collaboration and we are in the second week. And this week what I'm going to be sharing for the Thanksgiving collaboration is some crafts and show you my planner. So stay tuned and I'll show you that. I would also like to share my planner and my journal. And this is a journal that I purchased from the thrift shop for 48 cents. And um, it was brand new. And what I did is I put some stickers on it and then um, some more stickers and then we come to Thanksgiving and um, okay. this is my bucket list for Thanksgiving and it's nature walks, pie making, um, dessert parties, ice cream social, apple picking, Thanksgiving collabs which I'm doing and also we're going to be going to Disney World in the month of November and then um, 10 things that I am grateful for. I am grateful for my faith, for my family, which includes my husband, my children, my pets, my sisters, and their children, and their children. And for number three, I have health. We have four, our home. Five, um, the employment, my husband's job, and our finances. Six, our friends. Seven, coffee, for sure. I need that every morning to start my day. And then eighth is my son's school, which is Bishop Mora Salesian Prep. And um, nine, for my YouTube family. And ten, thrift shops and Goodwill shops. We help in our community, and either by um, donating money or food or time. So our, our church, our parish is Our Lady of the Rosary, my son's school, Bishop Morris Salesian, St. Elizabeth Church, the Food Bank, the Homeless of Los Angeles. We are a thankful family. And what I did is I just traced my hand and I put my son's name, my name, my husband's name, my older son's name, and my daughter's name. And... Um, that's it. That's what I have for uh, our thankful tree. And these are movies that we would like to see or I would like to see and share with my family. And here's a list of the movies. The ones that we already saw, I have a little acorn on them. I have um, many, many, many pages. So that's it for that and this is my planner what I'm using for my planner and it's a it's an old um, journal that you belong to my son and I'm gonna start using it for my um, Thanksgiving and Christmas planner and um, you'll see that next week To make the um, feathers, what I did is I just took a piece of construction paper, I folded that in half, and then I folded it again, and then I folded it again. I drew a line like this from one end to the other, and then I'm going to cut it. And it doesn't have to be perfect. and. Um, and if it's kind of um, jagged, it doesn't matter because we're going to be... And then what I like to do is I'm going to just cut it on the tip. That way I know it's going to go like that. And then I'm just going to keep it folded. And just um, make your little... your feathers. And 
just to make it uh, that it looks like feathers you can score it and it'll help a little bit so then you're done and remember this is just for one day so it doesn't matter and nobody's going to be looking at it very closely or you can just do it like this here are some other feathers that I made and I'm just going to keep them this way because I like them like this and I don't want a colorful turkey I just want a two tone or three tone turkey so this is what I'm going to use and I just showed you how to make these feathers and so now I'm going to show you how we made the head and just using scraps of paper from cut the cutouts of the feathers we made the um, the head and so it's just a upside down sock and um, and then we just cut out a little gobble and it's um, nothing important as you can see it's probably something that you can cut out from your scrap and just kind of eyeball it and then here's the beak and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hot glue that together I'm going to hot glue the feathers together and then I'll be back so what I did is I hot glue the gobble and the beak and then I'm going to close it up and hot glue this together. Can you put some hot glue on it? Okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to cover the stem on the front from where I'm working. And I am just going to hot glue a line. and put the head right there and then I'm gonna put the um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the the feathers and I taped it because I couldn't find my glue gun but now that I found my glue gun I'm just going to glue it in the inside and and I'm going to hot glue it to the side. Okay, so I just placed them on the back. I I hot glued the feathers to the back. And then I'll just probably be cutting something out and covering that up so it doesn't look so sloppy. But there you go. Um, they were folded over. So all I had to do was just fold a crease on the first, on the, um, first um, feathers. And then the other ones will follow. And if you want to hot glue, glue them to the back of the feathers, then do so. And that's what I'm going to do. Just lightly. Because I don't want them all to be one piece. Okay. And then the eyes. What I did is I used um, two stickers that I had here. That was um, one was the moon and the other one was um, a star. Well, I'm not sure what they were. But I just layered them one on top of the other one to make the eye. Construction paper or uh, use other things like this one could have been an eye also. And you can color them in with, um, with markers. So be creative. So this is my craft for um, the, this collab. We even had time to make a uh, small turkey. And this one's made out of an apple. In case you don't have... Um, a pumpkin and you have apples you can use any type of fruit that you have at home uh, as long as you put the little 
head and the feathers it'll make a turkey and then I also made these coasters and these are samples of tile from Home Depot and I left the sticker in the back so you can see but if you take the sticker off you can write on the back with chalk but this is how I'm gonna use them I also wanted to share with you these um, gift tags that I bought from the dollar spot at Target and um, I got some of these on clearance and I just wanted to show how easily these can transform from just tags for gifts to as place settings or just to um, give a description of the food that's in the um, serving bowl you you can also use them as napkin rings and I'm kind of liking this idea and uh, these are my um paper towels that I'm that I made for Thanksgiving and so I have a bunch of them so we'll see how we're gonna be using them that'll be up to the boys because they're sitting up they're setting up the table so I hope you enjoyed this video and I would like to say thank you to Adrian from Crafty Moms for hosting this collaboration and and for you for watching it I'll be linking Adrian's channel so that you can go there and see her playlist that she has set up for this collaboration and I hope you like this video if you did please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so i would appreciate it okay bye